Sheikh, a lot of people in my family are not practicing. When I don't free mix, they don't like it. For example, last time I went to visit my mom, I didn't pay a visit to my mom's cousin because she's not my maham. And I know they free mix and don't wear the proper hijab. And she was mad at me. She sent me some messages telling me if I become mad at you, your life will be difficult. So same thing goes with my female cousin. She sends me messages asking how I'm doing, and I don't know what to do in these cases. Uh, Sheikh, uh, please advise me. Jazakallah khair. Wajazak. Akhi, this is part of the tests we are obliged to go through in life. And Allah Azza wa Jal stated this in the beginning of Surah Al-Ankabut, the spider, where he says, Alif Lam Mim, أَحَسِبَ النَّاسُ أَنْ يُتْرَكُوا أَنْ يَقُولُوا آمَنَّا وَهُمْ لَا يُفْتَنُونَ وَلَقَدَ فَتَنَّ الَّذِينَ مِنْ قَبْرِهِمْ فَلَيَعْلَمَنَّ اللَّهُ الَّذِينَ صَدَقُوا وَلَيَعْلَمَنَّ الْكَاذِبِينَ Do people think that they will be left alone to claim that they're believers without being tested? Nay, we have tested those before them and it will be proven to Allah, it will be shown to Allah who's telling the truth from those who are telling lies. So this is your test from Allah. Allah ordered you only to obey Him and never to disobey Him. And if your parents were to order you to disobey Allah or to commit shirk, Allah says, do not obey them, but be good companion to them and be dutiful and respectful. So no matter what your mom says, as long as you're abiding by the Sharia ah and not free mixing and not doing something haram, if she curses you, if she makes dua from here till the day of judgment, Allah will not adhere to that. Allah would not listen to that or pay attention to it because Allah does not endorse such transgression and vice and evil. So you are on the right path, Akhi. Don't doubt yourself or look behind you every five minutes or over your shoulder. What you're doing is right. Be dutiful, be diplomatic, be respectful. And whoever doesn't like it, who cares?